Going on to the political part of the podcast, you have the U.S. spent over a billion dollars on EV buses for reasons. Because who wouldn't want an EV when you can have a diesel truck last, you know, a million miles and a quarter of a century? Let's get an EV that are basically right now with the current technology we have disposable. Now, in particular, one Michigan school noted that the buses are costing about five times what the government said they would. And the average EV bus for them is costing 3.4 to 4 point to four times per cost, but that's without the charging. So if you look at the total cost, more around five. Now they're also saying that they're getting 120 miles per charge, but if there's an uphill or pretty much any geography where there's hills, it drops precipitously, which makes sense. The vehicle has to work harder. Same thing happens with gas engines. You have to rev it a little bit more, but in this case, kind of like hauling anything more than a tissue box in an electric truck, the range drops precipitously to comical rates. Now, another issue with these EVs is the support from third parties. They're just like smartphones. You can't have Bob down the street sufficiently service your EV vehicle because he doesn't have the software suite or he doesn't have a team of software engineers to plug in there. Because it's again, it's basically a smartphone on wheels. And with diesel trucks and diesel school buses, there are a myriad of mechanics across the nation who could fix it easily. Not only with their current skill set, skill, skill set and knowledge set, but also because of the myriad of parts that are pretty much at every auto zone. Or auto, all, there are so many of those parts where you can fix it, as opposed to when's the last time you tried to fix a cell phone? You have to go to a shady, in, in very rare cases where you have a third party that can fix it, sometimes the software actually disable the phone. Apple's very good at noticing and detecting third party parts that are put into their iPhones, which is an industry in and of itself. But Again, it's one of those things where everyone had good intentions. They thought these school buses are going to be magical, but Miss Frizzle was not on board. That is a 90s burn for those in the audience who appreciate the old cartoons. Now, it'll be interesting to see where the schools go from here, if they try to back out, or hopefully they still have their diesel fleet. But you also have Michigan being a colder climate. Another thing not enough people are talking about is the nuances of the geography and how that has an impact on EVs as well. Just like, just like how solar would be a useless technology in Portland, Oregon, because I believe, well, not only with the copious amounts of weed that they smoke, that's all in the air blocking the sun, but it's also pretty much in terms of weather, it's a geographically pretty much cloudy the whole year. So just like putting solar panels in Russia, a lot of it is cloudy the whole year, really doesn't make much sense. In California, that makes more sense. It's sunny pretty much every day over there. So fiscally speaking, you'll get an ROI much quicker. But unfortunately, a lot of people, especially politicians, are usually blind to facts, logic, or reason. They just want to have a cookie cutter approach where they have one size fit all. Well, in fact, that is not true, both culturally and geographically. The United States is one of the most diverse places on the planet. And are also the best, but that's just me. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of August. So I especially appreciate you taking time to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like as well as comment. Your feedback is greatly appreciated as we make the show better and better every day. I'm really trying to get better at slowing down my pace of speech. So thanks to the comments, I know that it is something I need to focus on. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.